Active weather across Texas over the next 36 hours. Let's talk about who may be dealing with spinny spinny doom doom mischiefs, strong winds, and heavy rain in this Sunday morning edition of the Texas Weather Roundup. Good morning, I'm Texas Storm Chasers Boldy and Chief David Reimer. It is Sunday, the 17th of November, 2024. We do have the potential of severe thunderstorm mischief tonight and Monday morning across Texas. But, hey, you know what? We've got beneficial rains on the way today, tonight, and tomorrow as well before a cold front moves in with west winds tomorrow and then a much stronger cold front arrives on Tuesday. Let's just start with... The high-res rapid refresh model. I'm not going to talk about the severe weather issues yet. I just want to focus on the fact we're going to have a good old rain across the state today, tonight, and then into Monday. With most of the rain moving out of the state by early Monday afternoon. And skies clearing quite quickly with strong westerly winds. Today, best rain chances. We're going to see scattered to numerous showers eastern third of the state. And a big old rain shield across the western half of Texas. Borderland, El Paso, far west Texas, Permian Basin, Big Bend, Davis, Guadalupe Mounds, the Trans-Pecos, Panhandle, West Texas, Permian Basin, Northern Edwards Plateau. Good chance of rain today into tonight. Now, as we get into tonight, things are going to become more active in the thunderstorm severe weather department. For most of today, we're not going to be dealing with severe storms. Tonight, late tonight, into the morning hours Monday, is when we could have some issues in the severe weather department with damaging winds and maybe spin-up tornadoes. Now, let's talk about it. Here is the severe weather outlook from the Storm Prediction Center. We're going to go ahead and put the early window start time frame here, 11 p.m. Central tonight, run it through at least 6 a.m. Central tomorrow before we go into the subsequent severe weather outlook. But again, this is a late night, pre-dawn Monday, severe weather threat. So much of today, if not nearly the entire day, going to be quiet, severe weather-wise. We're going to have plenty of rain and storms and all that hoopla, but we're not going to be dealing with, you know, damaging winds, tornadoes, big hail. That could change tonight. The Storm Prediction Center indicating the potential for scattered severe storms is a squall line. A line of storms moves from west to east pretty quickly tonight across the Permian Basin, northwest Texas, the big country, the Concho Valley, the western hill country, western Texoma, western north Texas. Hail, not expected to be a big issue tonight. Yeah, some storms will have maybe some dime, P, nickel, maybe even up to quarter size hail. Tonight's not a big hail day. Tomorrow's not a big hail day. Damaging winds could become an issue. We're going to have extremely strong wind shear, including the low levels tonight. And as we see that line of storms organize, it may have enough forcing, lift, and oomph for a super duper meteorological term to bring some of those very strong winds aloft down to the surface so we could have 60 to 70 mile an hour wind gusts in the most intense storms not all storms in the squall line tonight are going to be producing winds that strong but gusty winds are a good bet in addition because we're going to have plenty of wind shear including in the low levels like i said and a lot of forcing with the upper level storm system arriving lift we're probably going to have enough instability, including in the low levels, to support a threat of spin-up tornadoes on the lean edge of the squall line with the most intense storms. Now, not all storms are going to be producing tornadoes. It's not a guarantee we're going to have tornadoes tonight, but conditions could favor that threat. If it's like last Thursday and Friday, we may see a, the highest threat for tornadoes across portions of northwest Texas, southern Oklahoma, with that segment of storms, while storms farther south generally behave themselves. However, we could see at least a very low to low threat of tornadoes late tonight. We're just going to say midnight through at least 6 a.m. Northwest Texas, the country, western North Texas, the Pacho Valley, Western Hill Country, as the line of storms moves east early tomorrow morning into the Edwards Plateau, the Permian Basin. So places like Childress, Midland, Odessa, Fort Stockton, east through Wichita Falls, Vernon, 
Throckmorton, Abilene, San Angelo, Mineral Wells, uh, Snyder, Sweetwater, just to name a few places. Can't rule out some spinny spinny issues tonight, very late tonight into pre-dawn Monday. Again, this is going to be a completely overnight event. In fact, it's probably not even going to get started until close to midnight. So, and that's going to be with the main line of storms moving from west to east. We're not probably going to be dealing with discrete storms ahead of it that are producing severe weather, at least. We're going to be watching that line for little kinks on the lean edge of that squall line where they either bow out or we see little hooks wrap around, in which case we'll have to watch those areas for circulations. And that's what we're going to be doing tonight into Monday morning. Now, let's take a look. Here's the severe weather outlook for 6 a.m. Monday through early Monday afternoon. That line of storms is going to continue moving from west to east, but east of Interstate 35, or even along Interstate 35 and especially east, low-level instability, all the instability values are going to be much lower. The line of storms is essentially going to outrun that more unstable air mass, and it's going to weaken. Now, we can't completely rule out a spin-up tornado or localized wind gusts near 60 to 65 miles an hour. Could still have some issues around sunrise Monday in Texoma, North Texas, including the DFW Metroplex as that line of storms arrives during the morning commute. So, you're going to want to keep an eye out for that if you're sending kids to school or you're driving yourself to work, etc. Be mindful there could be some issues during the morning commute in DFW up through the I-35 corridor towards, well, frankly, Oklahoma City. Now, let's go back to the high-rise rapid refresh model. We'll talk you through it. Again, today, daylight hours, we're not doing severe storms. Rain coverage will increase. You're going to be like, wait, there were supposed to be rowdy storms. What's Baldy talking about? Well, guess what? Late this evening through Monday morning, notice how that line of storms fires up around 11 p.m. Central Time, Permian Basin, Trans-Pecos, and just flies east tomorrow morning. Uh, and again, the DFW I-35, etc., by about 6 to 7 a.m. Central. As that line of storms flies east, we're going to have a lot of dynamics, a lot of wind shear, and just enough instability probably to support some threat of damaging winds, especially damaging winds, and the threat for spin-up tornadoes. So this could be one of these quick hitters where that line of storms is going to be moving at 50 miles an hour from west to east. We're going to have to track individual storms in that squall line for transient circulations and pockets of enhanced damaging wind potential. Not a guarantee, but it's something we'll be watching for. If we end up being a little more unstable, things are going to get a lot busier versus if we go the opposite route and the low-level instability is lacking, well... It's going to probably be like we dealt with last Thursday and Friday. A few severe storms, northwest Texas, the big country, at times some circulations, but for the most part, we didn't have to deal with issues. And all the little storms you see firing up ahead of the line of storms, probably not going to be an issue tonight and tomorrow morning because... It's just not going to have a lot of instability to work with. Now, is that a guarantee? No, because if I guarantee something, Mother Nature is going to come and slap me on my head and be like, that wasn't a good idea. So we'll watch it. But again, the main line of storms is what we're going to be concerned with Monday morning with severe weather potential. Otherwise, yeah, we're going to have a lot of rain, storms, threat of flooding, but... That's it for the severe weather issues. You can see as we get into Monday morning, early Monday afternoon, that line of storms weakens pretty dramatically as it makes it east of I-35, runs out of instability, and then it's pushed out in Louisiana and Arkansas by early Monday afternoon. You can see some wraparound moisture and rain in the panhandle, and then we're done. It's over. We clear out, and Monday night's clear across the state of Texas as cold front number one has moved through. And the stronger cold front that will bring much cooler temperatures to Texas Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday arrives on Tuesday. All right, so again, we're expecting a pretty good amount of rain out of this across the Panhandle, West Texas, the Permian Basin, the Big Country, Northwest Texas. We could see one to three inches of rain. Locally, higher amounts are possible, especially across the Eastern Panhandle, West Texas, Northwest Texas. Given the fact we had some impressive rain last week, Potential will exist for some flooding, street flooding, fields flooding, bar ditches full, etc. You know the drill. Low water crossings are going to be a problem. We could also see one quarter to up to three quarters of an inch of rain. If we get lucky, maybe an inch of rain. Essentially, 
Big Bend, Borderland, El Paso region, Trans-Pecos, down through the northern Edwards Plateau, south central Texas, the hill country, central Texas, north Texas, Texoma, Arklatex, northeast Texas, east Texas, Brazos Valley, southeast Texas, the Golden Triangle, the coastal plains. Easier way to describe that, northern 75% of Texas. Folks who miss out on a lot of this, if not all of it, most of the southern Edwards Plateau, the Rio Grande Plains, South Texas, the Rio Grande Valley, into the coastal bend. And again, all this is moving out by 7, well, really probably early to mid-Monday afternoon as that line of storms moves from west to east and we clear out with strong westerly winds. If we didn't have all this rain happening tonight and tomorrow, we'd be dealing with a pretty significant fire weather threat tomorrow. But hopefully we all get decent enough rain and that tapers the fire threat down tapers tempers whatever the word you want it to be so again that is the briefing for this morning we'll keep an eye on things we'll be on social media galore and we'll probably do another one of these videos this afternoon this evening just to keep you updated on the latest the expectation is we probably will be doing some severe weather coverage tonight into monday morning again if we have tornado warnings the plan is for us to be here doing live coverage so if that happens, expect for us to be here. Baldy's not sleeping tonight, it looks like, and neither are storm chasers. They'll be out and about. We'll be doing our best to keep you updated on things. Again, not all storms are going to be severe. This is going to be one of these events where it's going to be close. We're going to have a lot of wind shear. We're going to have moisture. We're going to have the lift, but the instability is questionable. And by instability, I mean... This is a high wind shear, low instability event, while most of our spring events are high instability, low shear. So things have to all mix together pretty well to produce tornadoes and all the damaging winds, etc. That doesn't always or even usually happen. Last Friday is an example of that, where that line of storms moved through DFW, Central Texas, the Brazos Valley, and didn't do much. Wow, in northwest Texas, southwest Oklahoma, we had circulation spin up a few tornadoes. It all just has to mix together correctly, and that's not going to happen for everyone tonight into Monday morning. But we'll be here to watch it. You can do the same with the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. If severe weather coverage is necessary, we'll have coverage on the app and our social media channels. You can also get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, and more. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers or you download apps for your device. We'll also have radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar, and we'll have updates throughout the day. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. Y'all have a good Sunday morning, and again, most of today... Yeah, we're going to have increasing rain and storms, but we're going to stay quiet in the severe thunderstorm department after 10 to 11 p.m. Central Time tonight out west and then Monday morning, quickly moving east, a line of strong to possibly severe storms with the threat of damaging winds and spin-up tornadoes. We'll keep you updated. Y'all have a great Sunday. We'll talk to you later. God bless.